Hey guys, Triforce of Doom here, and welcome to No More Heroes. Yep. Now, if you, if you're, in case you're wondering, this play for those of you who did well. First off, for those of you who didn't know, the difficulties are idiosyncratic, and by that I mean it's not just easy, medium, hard. It goes sweet, mild, bitter. Now, when you first start the game, you only have sweet and you only have mild. But upon New Game Plus, you get bitter. And this is what I'll be playing on. First time playing bitter on, in No More Heroes 1. Dear God. Wish me luck. <laughs> so, yeah. If you're wondering what the plot is, you're gonna find out soon. But yeah, since I am on New Game Plus, and I'm actually gonna quickly turn off air conditioning. Give me a quick sec. Okay. And you. There we go. Yeah, sorry about that. I had to turn off air conditioning and fan just for noise reduction. Uh, yeah, great way to start off a Let's Play, Matt. Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, with New Game Plus, yeah, all, how it works is, all your money carried over, which is helpful. All your, all your weapons carried over, which is helpful. And all your stats and, and unlockable stuff carried over, which is, again, helpful. Basically, it's a true New Game Plus in that everything's carried over. You'll be hearing that tune that she just whistled a lot. Now then, let's get rocking. So yeah, executive producer Yasuhiro Wada. I know a lot of gamers out there don't have much patience. At least that's what Bishop, the dude at the video store, said. So I'm at the register and I realize I got no money. I was seriously broke. Why? Because I met this smoking hot chick last night at the deathmatch bar. Man, she smelled good. So being the gentleman I am, I bought her a drink. Anywho, I decided to get a job. The gig? Assassinate the drifter. So I went where I was supposed to and waited for the guy to show up. And there he was, this cat. Well dressed, cool, couldn't tell if he was the shit or just plain all shit. Alright, uh, this game is m rated by the way. Fast, aggressive, and packing heat. Bada bing. Or at least it was supposed to be. Until she showed up. Her name? Silver. Oh, yeah, I'm probably gonna put like an average notice of the game or something. Congratulations, you are certified as the 11th best hitman. How about getting rid of the 10 killers above you and aim for the top? I want to be number one. How's that? Short and simple enough for you? It's gonna be a long, hard road. But who knows? Could kick ass. Could be dangerous. Could tell this suck. What do you say, bro? Join me. Let's see how far we can take this. And for you, they're holding the Wii remote right now. Just press the A button. Let the bloodshed begin. Oh yeah, this game has almost no fourth wall as well, like Deadpool. But yeah, it's M-rated for swearing, blood, and a lot of other stuff. And yeah, in fact, you may recognize this as seen from my countdown intros. Welcome to No More Heroes! Yo, help me out here. Where's this death metal dude? By the way, that's the guy's actual name. Oh yeah, be our protagonist, by the way. Travis Touchdown. It's game time. So, yeah. Oh, cool, so I got the Tsubaki Mark III equipped. That's good. Hey, Alright, since I'm on Bitter, meaning New Game Plus, they know they play, so I don't need a tutorial. But yeah, how controls work? You got Wiimote and Nunchuck. Thumbstick is move, Z is lock on, C, I completely forget what that does. Um, A button is attack, B button is melee, is a uh, wrestle attacks, or as I like to call them, because A button is the katana, B button is this. 
The difference? This kills, this stuns letting you wrestle with them. If you wrestle them, the Bacopsihana just falls right into their chest, which instantly kills them. But yeah, um... Other controls, uh, well, two is the minimap. One is charge battery, which I do not have to worry about at all because the upgrade for this katana here gives you infinite frickin' battery, which is awesome. You can see my health in the upper left, which, yeah, it's health. That tiger will, I'll uh, explain when it, the time comes. This high-low thing, hold the Wiimote higher or lower to change your battle stance. Good for, it's important when it comes to breaking guards. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, Z also resend with the camera, so, yay. This is a hack and slash, so it's kill everything to move on. Oh, and this game is, if you didn't notice earlier, the game is made by Super 51, creator of Killer7 and Lollipop Chainsaw, if, you, if you've heard of either of those titles. This was this is my very first Super 51 title. I own both it and the sequel. I will let's play the sequel some other time, like after I play a few other games. I like to break up. I want to break up the games between people, like how I'm not playing Thousand Year Door and playing after Paper Mario. Speaking of which, I'm playing this right after Paper Mario. Cut the mood with flesh if I do say so myself. And that was the plan. <laughs> uh, I have no idea when, Sm when Smash will be done over all, because I am terrible at thinking ahead on a number of characters. But yeah, how I'm going to flow this is I will show you how I grind the first time. Like, I'll go through the minigame once. And then I'm just going to play the main levels for you. Uh, and not, and that's going to be it. I don't want to bore you guys with grinding every other part. That would be boring as hell. Now, despite this commandment loss of swearing, I personally do not swear, so don't ex ex so all the swear words, aside from me, Hell and crap, if you count them as swear words, are gonna come from the game. Sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. You. That is the Quick Time Event kill feature. To kill an opponent, you have to use a Quick Time Event. Or, uh, which is basically doing the remote in that direction. Doesn't always register right, but it's pretty awesome. And with the Tsubaki Mark 3, I can hit up pretty much everyone near. It's basically a case of more like the M32 grenade launcher, I mean. The, the, the M3, the Tsubaki Mark 3, because F you and everyone near you. Oh, and if you notice, there's also slot machines going on below whenever I kill someone. If it matches three, I get a bonus, and that's what the tiger's for. You'll see, um, different bonuses have different rarities. The triple sevens almost never pop up. Oh, come on! But yeah, triple sevens almost never pop up. Oh, hey, speed of which, cherries! So yeah, triple cherries means one strike, instant, any direction, death maneuver. So, so basically an insta-kill mode. There's a, pretty much all of them actually involve insta-kills, just some are more flashy than others and act differently from each other. Um... Okay, I believe I go this... No, I don't go that way. I think I just go back. Yeah, the first level's a little got a bit of a confusing layout with the unlocked doors sometimes, but it's generally pointing... Oh, here we go. Yep. And there's an enemy. You're going the right way. <laughs> just beat him up and hack and flash 101 if you're playing any in the genre. Oh, there's an enemy. I'm going the right way. There is a lot of shaking of the Wii mode in this game, especially before you get the unlimited battery, because how you charge the battery is you press 1, and then shake the Wii mode like you're masturbating. I am not kidding. That that was the complete intention and the motion shown in the prompt. And what and it's basically what Travis does with this being katana. It's pretty hilarious. Yeah, that giant meter to the right of the screen is the battery meter, if I didn't say that earlier. Probably did. Alright, anyways, time to go back to the entrance. The levels tend to go by pretty fast when you know what you're doing, and since this is just like my third or fourth time playing the game, I know what I'm doing. So, yeah, have fun. But yeah, the main difference with Bitter is how aggressive the frickin' bosses are. I was, I was uh, playing through this profile earlier on my old New Game Plus, and even then, dear god, the bosses. I'm especially not looking forward to Rings 2 and, uh, and the Secret Boss, because there was a Secret Boss. 
I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spoil how you get to him, but you, you, but there is one. Oh, there you are. That may have proves very useful, by the way, during rank 6, for, for what is it, reason which I shall not divulge into just yet. Also, higher difficulty, the enemies that have even better weapons, like, say, the bean katanas, like what you're holding, which many people can, uh, 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 hold akin to a lightsaber, and, and in Japan, it even uses the same sound effect pretty much as a lightsaber, if I remember right. I thought I'm thinking of the beam sword from Smash. Oh, I know the beam sword from Smash had that, but I don't. I forget if this did or not. And oh, great gun enemies! Guns are really annoying when you don't have a muted battery. Why? Because they drain it like no tomorrow when you block. Yeah, the lock on button is also the block button, by the way. So it's nice. So it's kind of like old Zelda game. It's kind of like Twilight Princess on the Wii, which is really pretty convenient, actually. Like, oh, hey, I'm walking up to the enemy. Oh, you want to shoot me? No, 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 no. And then if you're not using the upgraded Tsubaki Mod 3. Oh, yeah, this is a blueberry chocolate brown. Or blueberry whatever brownie it was. Basically, you shoot Hadoukens with your sword, like a boss. That makes that enemy explode into colorful blood. Yeah, all enemies explode into blood. In other regions, though, it's black smoke, because censorship. Battle of censorship! I do like the sequel more than the first game just because the gameplay is better and you have more bosses to fight. And more bosses is, it means more fun. Zen51 is a pretty decently well-known developer though nowadays. Um, yay, health crate. Yeah, purple is purple is health, blue is battery. Pretty self-explanatory. And this part is, has been a bit of a tutorial level for the most part, just keeping commentary for us. What can I say? I, I know a good bit about this game because of how much I've played it. And how I first heard of the game, the completionist and countdown creators, like myself. The completionist reviewed it. And then there's lists like the Autarch's top 25 of uh, No More Heroes bosses list. Which I pretty much agree with. If you don't know who the Autark of Flame is, or just nowadays, just the Autark, he kinda got rid of the of Flame for some reason, and eh, whatever. No, no. I am, I am freaking Jedi. I found a filthy mouth, uh, and less than Jedi, so maybe more Sith, but still. Yeah, your, your, the Travis Touchdown is no nice guy. He always goes for his own agenda. No. Also, one, another uh, display thing No More Heroes 2 does differently, uh, which you'll see what they get around right in Freaking yawning! Again! Uh, but yeah, one thing you'll notice from No More Heroes 2 to, uh, and No More Heroes 1, if you look at the footage differences, A, the battery meter is differently styled, and B, enemies' health meters aren't rectangles anymore, but now are those dots that surround them when you lock on. No. Stop. Stop. No. You're cornered. Bye. But yeah, how you get more wrestling moves, you know, those things I mentioned earlier, which are really useful in bosses because it really wrecks their HP. Um, you tend, you mainly get them, uh, once per, once per level, but you also get some by buying training videos, uh, from the video store. Which is one use for lining it. Oh! Now, normally this goes through the Wiimote speaker, but I had said it previously to go through the TV just to make it easier for you guys. Let's listen. Your rank five begins just up ahead. Win, and you will be dead. Lose, and hell awaits. Are you up to this? Need a bathroom break? Whatever you need to do, do it now. Your opponent, some call him the Holy Sword. He is good, but I know you can take him. You are the man! I am the Kagel! He only looks tough because his mother was an ugly bitch! Take it to the red zone and set us free at full throttle! Unleash the power! Show no mercy! Bring me death metal set! Enter when you are prepared to fight! I believe in you and your force! Now, off to the garden of madness! 
So yeah, pretty much every level that will happen right before the boss, letting you know, oh hey boss coming up. Um, and before every boss, you also get, well over here would be the wrestling mask that would hold the uh, wrestling move for this boss. If you're if you're on your first playthrough of this fi of your file, but then you've also got uh, full health crates, or well, just health plus crates in mild and bitter, um, full battery crates, which you know useless to us now, and a save point. Speaking of which, say hello to no more hero save points, which are kind of infamous. Yep, it's Travis taking a crap with well placed toilet paper. Okay, <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, yeah, these parts will go by a little quickly just because of how fast the levels can go. So, yeah, this is going to be a short let's play. There's only ten levels. So, and the secret boss. So, yeah. Let's get started. Yeah, right exclamation points are always the boss. Complete with their own special loading screen. Oh, also the star mash B and it will go up with changing colors as it, goes through, as it wraps. It's fun. Anyways, cutscene time. Again, this will happen a lot. Quite beautiful, wouldn't you say? Paid for with the lives of many. When you have the strength to take life for yourself, that is true wealth. I am free of desire. So long as I have this scenery to look upon, I need nothing more. Please leave me be. You're the one leaving in a body bag. I'll only say this once more. Leave here now. Huh. Me leave? You obviously don't know me. You don't get it, do you? Hey, you know what paradise is, right? Paradise. This is paradise, the place where dreams are fulfilled. Well, you've had your dream, old man. Time to wake up. This is no paradise. All right, then what is it? A place to die. Huh. I'm glad you and I are on the same page here. So naive. You have no idea, do you? What a pity. You make an old man cry. Arrogant, crude little shits like you come around from time to time. Listen well, young one. The wall is high, higher than you will ever know. Ultimate sacrifice is sublime. Now draw. You can take that to your grave. And with that, it's time for one of the many boss battles. One per level. Ow, 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 ow. Yeah, how boss battles tend to work is, it's like punch out, counter. Also, this dude has a, he basically has Cloud Sword on crack. So yeah. Quite the uh, first boss. Oh yeah, all this dialogue I'm not really paying attention to. You can read the subtitles if you want. Maids and loyal servants at my beck and call. Oh yeah, De death metal. He's a uh, pretty easy boss, even on bitter. Because he, when he combos, he combos. And you can block pretty much every attack of his. It's the life of winners. No. Yeah, if you blade lock someone, you will get a pretty quick time event on them, but it doesn't always kill. Sir. Yeah, if you if you hit them with melee attacks enough, you will likely get a wrestling move off it. Look how much that depleted his HP. Oh, yeah, this is gonna stop Shadow Clone Jutsu, so have fun with that. Now, unlike most Shadow Clone Jutsu cases, uh, you know, like Kamek, you actually have to kill every one. It's just something. It's, wh whichever one you go for last is the real one. Oh, wait, no, it's, uh, the real one has a bigger HP bar, is what it is. 
But no, you, it's, a, it's fairly a good idea anyway to kill one, just to kill them all as you can. Also, if I can show it off, I want to show off the mechanic Dark Stepping. Which is, doesn't seem to oh really? They, they, they were both still there. Look up, I'm already at, I'm already at light green, holy crap. Yeah, if you pay attention, you'll know the way. How about? No! Yeah, Travis is a bit. Travis is awesome. He, he can backhand block. Yeah, well, well, by the way, one katana in the sequel does have a similar kind of battery system. It's just some things will actually drain the battery. Mainly charge attacks like this. Um, and, and, uh, blocking. Which is really annoying when you're fighting certain bosses. Especially the first boss, Helter Skelter. You'll see him soon. Or is it Skelter Helter? Eh, fun too. His brother was the dude we beat in that first cutscene. That, oh yeah, the final blow always has to be with the Bean Katana, by the way. How about... No! And that was Death Metal! And now it's time for another cutscene. Extraordinary. The moment I've been waiting for. The name, the name Holy, Holy Sword, Sword is now yours. You're joking, You're right? right? I don't care, I don't about, care titles about titles or power. or power. I just want to be number one. Then master, then master the ways of the assassin. assassin. Here's your Here's ticket to paradise. To paradise. <laughs> So yeah, oh yeah, and here's the, oh yeah, those triple sevens I mentioned earlier, they're the rarest thing ever, I've only gotten like two or three in all my playthroughs, it, and maybe even then I'm exaggerating, and there's a reason for that. A, you could hit the minus button and scream nuke, or B, you could save it and get 50,000 per triple seven. At most, you'll be getting 50,000 per triple se per level from that bonus. Because that's how many you'll be getting a playthrough. <laughs> if you're lucky. The most often thing you'll be getting are the cherries and, uh, and, uh, and the other, like, insta-kill things. But yeah, the ranks are much like Sonic. It goes from S to C. I got A's. The, the higher the rank, the more money you get. There, you can see my money there. They're actually pronounced LBs, not pounds or anything. So, yeah. Money is important. Because money is how we access the next levels, which is why you need to grind money. And it's what I will be cutting out of the Let's Play after the first time. Now, normally, you basically get what, what, what this game would consider a heart container, but we kind of already got all of those because they're required. You have to break the chest in order to make this thing appear. It's also how you get a bunch of cash normally, so that kind of sucks. All the other upgrades I got were through the training facility, which is, doesn't cost too much money, actually. Nice kill, Travis. I didn't think you had it in you. It was rather... exciting. Congratulations. You are now ranked 10th. 10th, huh? What? Do I get anything? Hmm. How about some cash? That should help you pay the bills. I'm not feeling the sense of accomplishment that I should be. So I just gotta do this a few more times, right? If you so choose, yes. And you will keep your promise? There is nothing the association cannot do. And if I refuse? As the 10th ranked assassin, you are now a target for those who want to replace you. Anytime, anywhere, number 11 could be right around the corner. 
ready to put a knife in your eye. So what you're telling me is that I gotta continue fighting. There's no way out of this. You set me up, bitch. Quit your bitching and get with the program. There's only one road out of here. No turning back. Okay, how about this? If I become number one, will you do it with me? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe not. Come on, just once. And with that, we have our main motivation for the game, people. Yay! Yeah, not. It's not often the main protagonist's main goal is to get laid. <sighs> uh, anyways. So yeah, that was the first level. Quite the introduction, huh? And with that, Travis Touchdown has beaten Death Metal and has moved up to rank 10. Who are the other rankings? We have no idea yet. Anyways. Epic Star Wars transition there. I'll, I'll end the part after the uh, phone call cutscenes, basically. Oh yeah, welcome to Travis's apartment. Or, more like motel room. And they give you an opportunity to save before and after every boss battle. And pretty much whenever you're on the world map, as long as you go back to your motel room. Yeah, the motel is actually called No More Heroes. That was what well, that was what the title card thing was if you weren't paying attention. All right. Who swallows their mouthwash? Am I ready? Am I ready? Anytime. Anytime. Gotcha. Oh yeah, Travis is an otaku. Like, he's outright stated to be one. That's his favorite anime. Basically, this universe is Sailor Moon. But yeah, this is his uh, room. Oh yeah, if you, as you can see, he has a little kitty named Jean. Jean is adorable. Aww. Aww. Having cats myself, that's just adorable. <laughs> but yeah, the fridge. It's supposed to refill your health, but that but it's kind of impossible to lose health on the overworld anyway. Meaning it's essentially pointless. The TV lets you watch the promo trailer as well as the opening cutscene to his favorite anime, which they, yes, they fully animated an anime cutscene just for this game, which is awesome. Toilet is a safe point if you haven't figured that out. Closet is change clothes. I only have basically starter gear and some stuff you find in the dumpster. I have my favorite clothes on already, anyways. Switch your katana. Yes, you cannot do that mid-level, and you wouldn't want to switch anyways. It's basically just pick the best pick the best the katana, which is the one I have equipped. The map is kind of pointless, and the telephone is also pointless. So yay! With that, um, next part, you'll get to see what you, what I'll be doing between parts from there on out, as well as let, watch me beat up the, the next rank. So, yeah, this has been the Triforce of Doom.